Hi, let me show you just how easy it is to set up a template to automate sending messages and liking the newest post in Axiom.ai, a browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First up, a bit of context. Let me explain what this automation template does. So what it does is, first of all, it reads um, a URL to an uh, Instagram profile from a Google Sheet, and you can fill the sheet up with as many different links to profiles as you want, so you can just loop through sending messages. Don't exceed um, Instagram's API limits. So anyway, so it loops through the sheet. It'll open up that profile. It will then scrape to check it can click the message button. If it can, it will click the message button just like I'm doing here. So it's mimicking the human actions. It'll send a message and you'll see on screen that I've been testing this out myself quite a bit. It will then click this button up here to return to the profile where it'll click on the first post and then it will click like, which I won't do now because I'm about to show you this automation doing that. So without further ado, Let's proceed on to the next step, which is getting your Google Sheet set up. So make sure you have a Google Sheet. In the sheet, you'll need a single tab. And what you'll need is basically in column A, you'll need the link to their profiles. In column B, the message you want to send. OK. Next up, um, installing the template. So you can install the template, obviously, from the template page. You can also do it from within Axiom. If you go to um, Axiom.ai's website, you'll also see we've got a page full of templates. You can find that link at the top of the site, and then you can then locate the um, template that you wish to use. Pretty straightforward. From within Axiom, you can just open up Axiom and you can click New Automation, Start from Template. And if you're looking for a social media automation, just click on Social Media and then identify the template that you want, which in this case is this one. OK, and no worries if you don't have an Axiom account yet. Everyone gets 60 minutes free runtime so you can play around with, play around with as many templates you want and check out Browser Automation for yourself. Without further ado, let's configure this automation so we can then run it and see magic. So I'm going to open up Axiom. The first step we need to do is read data from Google Sheets. So in fact, to do that, I'm just going to tab into Google Sheets and then open up the Axiom from there. What we need to do is I'm looking for Insta message. So I can just select that from the drop down. Then the sheet name with the links in, which is called profiles. And you see the output up Dates, column A, we've got the profile we're going to go to, column B, the message we're going to send. Now, we've then got step two, which is a loop. So this loop basically goes through each row in the Google Sheet sending message. So that's how we can just repeat the message sending, but to a different profile. And so the first step we need to set up inside that loop is step 2.1, the go to page. This step loads a URL. Essentially, it loads the page within the bot. So we don't want to hard code a URL in here because it will just keep loading the same page. We need to pass that data from the Google Sheet. And we do that by clicking Insert Data. We choose a Google Sheet token, and we select the column with the links in. So now the link is being passed dynamically into the GoTo page. And you'll also see the loop through data is also set to the Google Sheet data. So it's going to loop through the Google Sheet data and loop through the URLs, changing the profile of each loop of this bot. So Step 2.1 is set up, and I'm going to collapse that step. What have we got left to set up? Well, step 2.2 is already configured, and that just scrapes the message button. So it's a good time to just tab into Instagram and um, set the next part up from here. So 2.2, like I say, basically, that's the scrape button, and it scrapes a message. But what we do is scrape the whole header and then check for the, the word message. We have a wait step just to make sure we're done before we allow the pop-up. We're basically waiting for this pop-up to appear. When you see the run, you'll see a not now pop-up appear, and this 2.33 basically clicks and closes that pop-up. The wait step 2.3.4, we don't need to do anything about. 2.3.5 is the next step we need to configure. And this is the step that takes the message, the enter text, or sends the message, the enter text step, types it in the field. Rather. Now, you can use a mixture of tokens and just hard coding a message. So I could just write hello in here. 
or I could um, pass in a message from the sheet. In this case, I'm going to opt to send column B. So you could use you could basically use a combination of tokens and a message to personalize that message. So you could pass a name in from the Google Sheet and have a generic message typed in the enter text step. Okay, that step's complete now. 2.3.5 is done. Let's collapse that step. And we'll just move on to our final step, 2.4. So we need to select the spreadsheet where we've got our URLs in, Insta message where we've got our profile links, I mean. And then we want to select the same sheet with those links. Why and why a delete step? Well, because basically each loop the bot goes through, it will send um, a message to the, the link from the sheet. And so we don't keep sending the same message to the same person. We delete the row that's just being processed. So then Axiom has a new and fresh row to read, send the message like the post. And so every time the loop completes, it will delete the row. So when the loop goes back around, it's got a fresh row to read from. That's the bot set up. Let's get ready to run. We're now ready to run this bot. I'm going to run it from Instagram and I'm going to run it on the desktop. I test all my axioms as I set them up on the desktop just because it's easier to observe the bot run and see if there are any issues. So I click run. No hands. You can see Axiom is about to open up Instagram. It's going to open up on my profile. Now the message button, it's going to check to see if it's there. And if the message button wasn't there, it would just go on to the next row. And it finds the button, so it should the if statement should then trigger, and it's going to click message. And we talked about this not now window that appears. That's it. A button clicks to stop that. And you drag that into view. A message was just sent really quickly. And now the bot will go on to the next row. Well, actually, so I forgot. It's going to like the first post. It's opened it up or the newest post. Click like, and then it will loop through to the next row, which is again me again but you should use a different profile for that. Cool, that's the magic. How exciting is that? It's pretty awesome watching the browser automate your work. Now, keep in mind you can fully customize any axiom. So if you didn't want the, the like, you could just remove those steps. Or if you wanted to like the second post, you could change the selector on 2.39 to open up the second post and then click like on that. It's fully flexible. You just need to add the steps in using the step finder to replicate your actions. Lastly, on every template page, let me just go back to the template page, hide axiom. You will find some tips in case you've got stuck. They'll give you some tips on how to change or tweak any of the settings. But do remember, go to our website, axiom.ai. Click on support in the top menu and we offer great customer support. So share your template, describe your problem, preferably a screen recording, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can with a solution. Thank you for trying Axie.